Hi everybody, it's Super Regan. Have you ever had the idea that you wanted to play with your friends or something like that? Well, today I'm here to show you how. So, what you want to do first is install the server software. We'll be installing vanilla, the, um, what is it called? It's Mojang's um, server. It's not the best. Bucket is a bit better because it has mods and bugs are fixed. And, yeah, we'll have to port forward it. If you don't want to port forward it and make it easier, then go to the video about Hamachi, which I'll be making. So, but Hamachi is for private service, so let's get going. First, we have to go to Minecraft.net, the Minecraft homepage. Then, I don't, don't feel like locking in, so let's go to the downloads. So, what we need to do is go over here where the multiplayer servers are. This is for Mac. If you want to see Windows, check out my Windows video. So, what we want to do is download this Minecraft.jar thing. And then I yeah, just download this then what we want to do is take this and put it on the desktop so what we're gonna do that's all we need so what we do is we right click and add a new folder let's make this server I seriously don't care what you name it as long as you know what it is as long as it isn't too long we take this minecraft server jar and put it in there we open this up then we open that up open so it'll open this stuff yes so it'll create all that stuff um so what you want to do is you just wait for this to load because if you try and copy this while it's loading see it'll just cancel so what you want to do is copy this code up at, up at the top press command C and it'll copy it Command C. Try that again. After this, um, so what we want to do is type in stop. Make sure you only have one w window running the server. So what we want to do is close that up. So we have all these files in here. I will show you how to edit these files. So first, I want to show you server.properties if you want to do stuff. So you have to open it with text edit. text edit uh, just search up text edit and open that and then it'll pop up like this okay guys I'll quickly go over this so what you do allow nether it's simple if you want to allow people to go to the nether level name you don't need to change this unless you're installing world allow flight that doesn't do anything enable query that enables so when the server is full and somebody joins it won't reject them and there's a query but doesn't make a bunch of use server port keep it 25565 keep it like that enable recon I don't even know what that is level seed if you want a special spawn seed for it server IP don't need to do that unless you're using Hamachi whitelist if you want to have a whitelist spawn animals self explanatory online mode this is one you want to do if you want to stop um, stop people from logging in, let's say if your friends can't log in and they play online, then you'll have to change this to false so they can join. PvP means player versus player. Difficulty, game mode, zero is survival and one is creative. There's no hardcore. Max player is pretty self-explanatory. Spawn monsters also self-explanatory. I don't know what that does. And here's your moto, what you do is if let's see I'll just type in blarg whatever this will show up when people look at your server like in the list it's a little motto under it so just save that so now your server files are installed now we have to go into port forwarding which is kind of, it, this is the hardest part you've basically done one third so what you want to do is to go to portforward.com So what you want to do is, um, it shows your IP. This is not my server IP. I use Hamachi though, and it'll have all these routers. What it's different for each router. So what you want to do is find your router. We can do this easily by pressing Command F. I'll just type in Linksys, even though I don't have one. Link. Uh. Ah. Uh, 
forgot how to spell it. Whatever. Do some random stuff. Netgear, I don't know. This is just random feature. So after you click on your router, all this weird stuff will pop up. So what you want to do? Some people get confused by this. This is just an ad. Go over to the right where it says click here to skip this ad. Over here. And click on that. You have to listen to this carefully. So what we want to do? This tells you how to set up servers. Like Minecraft servers, all that stuff. Just do command F. Minecraft. It'll highlight it. And click on that. After that, it will tell you what to do. It'll tell you to go into this website and change all this stuff. And, yeah, I can't go into extreme details on port forwarding since it's different for every router. You'll just have to do that yourself, but port forward is pretty good and it'll help you with it a lot. After you've port forward, if you open up server, what you want to do... They'll open it with more RAM so that it'll run much better and not crash. You have to do this after you've port forwarded. Type in terminal. Just like that. You'll find this little thing right here. You might want to drag it to the dock. It would be more useful. So what we want to do is we open that up. We want to run our server over here with more RAM after you've port forwarded and stuff. So what you want to do? CD desktop. This will bring us to the desktop CD server. This will open up that file. And after you've done that, you copy and paste the thing I told you to copy earlier. This thing that pops up when you open it. So what we want to do is hit enter. It'll take a while to load though. And here we go. As you can see, it has much more RAM. It'll run much better over here. So yeah, it's running Minecraft version. Make sure the version over here is the current version or else it won't work. So that's all to do. Um, if you have trouble port forwarding, go check out Hamachi. You don't need to port forward with Hamachi. So basically, that's how to easily set up your very own Minecraft server. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, New Year. Whatever you want to call it, just go out and enjoy the break. Go out and enjoy it. It's once a year. It's a fun time for everyone. Goodbye, guys. This is Super Reagan. Don't know how to open up your server and play on it. So what you want to do, after you have your Minecraft server open, and you want to join it, you have to find your IP. If you don't know your IP, head over to your browser. It's loading. And head over to what is my IP. Just search it in Google. Then find this website, whatsmyip.com. Just wait. Yeah, here's your IP, guys. Here it is. Um, yeah, that's your IP, basically. What you do is you take that number. Then you need to open up Minecraft. After you open up Minecraft, go to multiplayer, add a server with your IP in it. So I'm going to go over a few basic commands to opt yourself. Well, this is the console. It's like a player that doesn't play the game. It controls the commands and controls the server. It outrules all ops. So if you want to make yourself an op so that you could type commands in game, you type in op, then username. To op yourself but username doesn't exist there's a players list over here so yeah if you want to do it in multiplayer servers you have to type in the slash first or whatever but in here you can just type it to ban people you go like this ban username set the time what you need to do is type in time set zero to set it today or time set negative nine thousand to set it to night time that's basically all you have to do there's also game mode player um, 1, which is creative, or 0, which is survival. And you can't find the user player because player doesn't exist. Yeah, those are some basic commands. If you want to see more, head over to the wiki, head over to whatever. Just Google it. Google it. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.
as I said, have a great holiday time. Spend some great quality time. Don't be on the computer all day. Go out. Or play, play with your friends with your brand new Minecraft server. If you're still having trouble, head over to Hamachi. And if you have Windows, then obviously you shouldn't be here. Head over to the Windows video, which I'm working on. Goodbye.